I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're staying safe at home. Uh, today I want to talk about eating local. First, I want to talk about our mindsets. If you feel limited at any point in your life, you have limitations when it comes to your health, your career, your relationships, your personal growth, your career, whatever it is, limitations first start in the human mind. Human minds like to put themselves into boxes, rigid boxes or extremes. We like to put ourselves into a box, which is why most of the leadership advice in companies, the corporate employees is think out of the box, think out of the box, because when you do things differently, you get different results. Well, it's natural for humans wanting to be in a box. Look around at all the fat diets. People want to put their unique bio individual bodies into a fad diet. They want to put their systems into a 16, eight fasting mechanism, not realizing that 15 hours may be good for them. 12 hours may be good for them. Maybe they need 19 hours. Why is 16 the right number? So we like to put ourselves into a box out of convenience and so that we don't have to think too much. We don't want to put an effort in thinking because we don't want to be responsible for the consequences of failure or rejection. Now today I want to talk about eating local wherever you are in the world right now is of prime importance, but don't put yourself in a box. Yes, that's your number one priority, but we got to be open to global eating as well. And I'll tell you exactly why. And the reason we're talking about this today is because people have put themselves into a box. So when you want them to eat a new food because they have a new kind of a condition or a disease, they're like, oh, but eating local is the best way. It is the best way. But when something changes in your body, you need to do different things. Albert Einstein said the measure of intelligence is in the ability to change. Yes. Now, why do we need to be open to eating global? The first priority is local. I do that every single day. What my vegetable vendor sells me is what I eat for lunch and what I eat for dinner. It doesn't stop me from exploring other foods that I feel can benefit my health. Number one, everything's changing. The geography is changing. Weather's changing. The intensity of the sun is changing. The quality of soil is also changing. The kind of bacterial infections are changing. Viruses, you know, are changing all the time. Diseases are changing. Medication is changing. Side effects of new medication are changing. And all of this has an impact on every single one of the trillion cells that make you up. So yes, ideally, we would like to go back to those days where we eat what grows. But today, if there's a new condition, let's say the sunlight is damaging your skin and your DNA. Now you, you may need certain in certain vitamins and minerals that may not be found in the fruit or the vegetable that is growing locally for you right now. Example, kiwis. I would never eat kiwis 10 years ago because I felt it was not local to our country until I learned through integrative medicine that some properties in kiwis have the most powerful scientific abilities to repair the DNA. And that's when we started putting all of our cancer patients on kiwis post chemotherapy, during chemotherapy, because guess what? I don't care who's saying eat local and stay local, but if it's going to help our patients to get better, we're going to do it. Now, of course, if I live in India and I'm just trying to eat everything that grows outside of India, okay, that isn't wise. I could have 100% local diet. I could have 80% of my diet local and 20% of what I need for my condition. Chemotherapy is changing all the time. It's depleting vitamins and minerals that you may not find in your local crop because your local crop is growing according to the weather conditions and according to the season, but it's not taking into account your disease or the side effects of the medication that you're on, which is why open up your minds. Now, of course, I'm against the fact that someone sits in a country like India and only eats blueberries that are flown in from the United States. I don't have a problem with you eating blueberries. That could be 10%. The balance 90% should be the mangoes growing in your season, the watermelon, the papaya, the pomegranates and all of that stuff. Keep the balance. Local is your first preference. Of course, we do local to support our family, uh, our farmers, sustainable living. I have absolutely no problem with that. That should be our first bet. But do not put yourself into a box where you can use foods which probably grow out of season or out of your country for your disease or your condition. Because like I said, remind yourself, Everything is changing around you. Everything. There are antibiotics that can no longer kill certain bacteria. They're called superbugs. 
because the system's getting smarter and smarter, the demands on the human body are also constantly changing with a change of environment. The environment is changing. That's why certain crops that could not grow in our countries can now grow today because there's a change in even the weather. You know, there is a lady who's doing fabulous work. I think she lives between Pune and Mumbai. She's able to grow blueberries without pesticides because the weather is conducive for that. So now do we say that blueberries are not local to us so we don't eat them? Absolutely not, she's growing them. Kiwis now grow in parts of Himachal Pradesh. Avocados now grow in South India. They're also growing in parts of Goa. Does this mean that we put ourselves in a box and we say, don't eat that, it's not local? No, we open up our minds. There are parts of avocados today which play a huge role in leukemia, in the treatment of leukemia, children with leukemia, adults with leukemia. So do we put ourselves in a box and say, no, 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 I can only eat local? No, we open up our minds and we make decisions with balance and with logic, and with logic. If I can get monounsaturated fatty acids from olive oil, that doesn't grow in our country. Does that mean I won't sprinkle olive oil over my salads? Absolutely, I want a mix of all the fats. I want the mufas, I want the pufas, and I want the saturated fats. If I don't find it in my country, I will borrow from other countries, the wisdom and use it in our diets. What happens when you travel? Everyone who's stuck up about eating local, what happens when you travel? Then you eat according to another country. Your body doesn't go through change, absolutely not. Of course, the ideal way of human health is to eat what grows in your country or your state at that time of the year. Because let's say it's the monsoons now in Goa. So the kind of fruits that will grow will be in high in vitamin C for our immune system. So will the vegetables. Everything changes according to that. There are warming foods, there are cooling foods according to the season. But that should not stop you from exploring foods for your conditions. Now if I told you, if I told you, you constantly have migraines, okay? And the magnesium in dark chocolate can help you with reducing the pain of your migraines. This is a generic statement. It does help, it doesn't have to work for everyone. Will you say, oh, raw cacao nibs don't grow in Goa, they don't grow in Mumbai, so I'm not gonna have, have it. It may grow in another state, it grows in South India, it grows in South Africa, but I will use it because I have a condition, right intention behind every action that you make in life. So please do not put yourself into a box when it comes to human life because change is happening all the time. The human body, the cellular mechanism is very demanding. Today it needs two liters of water. Tomorrow it needs three liters of water. Today it needs a little more acids. Tomorrow it needs a little more alkaline. Today it needs a little more vitamin A. Tomorrow it needs a little more vitamin B. It is constantly changing, so putting yourself in a box is your biggest limitation when it comes to improving your health. The biggest limitation, that's why it never works. Listen to your body. Listen to your body. Now, if you live in India and 95% of your diet is Mexican, 95% of your diet is Italian, obviously it's not gonna work for you. But having Mexican food as part of your diet or Thai food or Italian, like the balance 10%, but 90% is what you are getting locally is absolutely okay for you. If it suits you, do it. If it doesn't, don't do it. Now when you open up your mind and you start looking global, you will find so many scientifically documented foods that are unbelievable when it comes to most of the lifestyle diseases that we are suffering from today. Again, it doesn't stop you from eating local, but it doesn't stop you from exploring the beauty and the power in other foods that exist outside of us. Let me give you an example. All of you, most of you would have heard of Moringa. Moringa is from the drumstick tree. Okay, we worked on a project with Africa about nine years ago where Moringa leaves were used to boost iron levels, immunity, energy levels in undernourished children, in pregnant mothers who were mal malnourished. Today, I have people in Amsterdam who are, Luke, please send me loads and loads of Moringa to Amsterdam. They learned about it, they know it grows in India, and I said, why do you use it so much? What's the use of it? They said, we feel so good when we have it. We have iron deficiencies because we're heavy smokers, but we have Moringa in our tea every morning, we have Moringa in our food, and our iron levels are increasing. Someone in Amsterdam is globally opening their minds and using Moringa that, live, that grows in our own country to increase their iron levels. Now, what's wrong with that? It's about wisdom and how you use it. Never put yourself into a box, never. And if you want to start eating a new food, what is your intention? Oh, I'm eating blueberries in India because I have the money, I want to show off. And when people talk, oh, I have blueberries, I imported from the US and I have it. Intention is wrong, you want to show off, okay? But if I know that blueberries today are scientifically documented with 
every single possible cancer. And if I can get it available in my country, right quality, right quantity, why would, that, would, I, why would I not use this? So be very, very open to this for your children, for yourselves. You may be someone in South Africa right now or Canada, but you get to know about the wisdom of food that grows maybe in Australia or in Peru or some other country. Why will you not be open to using it? You are still eating local and respecting local in your own country. Another reason, look at the way cultivation happens in your own country. I can tell you right now that most of the crops in our own country grows from depleted soil. So you may be eating spinach and say, oh, I'm eating all greens and vitamin C and iron rich. You hardly have even 5% of the actual nutrients because your spinach is grown from depleted soils. So now I can't depend on spinach alone for iron. I look at other sources. So that's why food synergies are so important. You've got to give the human body what it needs to survive and to evolve and to get better. Keeping yourself in a box is never, ever going to achieve that. So be open to global as well, because in a way, everything has become global. Climate change, okay? Climate change is real for everyone. That's why certain crops don't grow, certain new crops are growing, which never grew before. Okay, so we have to be open to adapting. We gotta be open to change. We gotta be open to making the right decisions. Always ask questions. Like I tell you, ask your doctors, why am I taking this medication? What are the side effects? What can I do about the side effects? If you don't ask those questions, it's your fault. The same thing with food. Why am, I, why am I eating this food? What is it gonna do for me inside? Okay, do I need to eat any other food paired with this food when I have it? That's how you learn and that's how you evolve. Have a great day everyone, until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right and breathe deep and remember you care is all about you.